Welcome to Smoke Your Proof Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist. And on this one, we are checking out the Beyond Stage BTS documentary photo book, The Day We Met. Uh, it's the official trailer. Uh, we're probably only going to get certain content from these boys over the next two years. Uh, so I figure I just check out everything because you guys are going to just ask me to double back and do it later. So I figured since this is very recent, I just knock it out now, knock out the official joint when it comes. And then that way I've got like a hard line of content that is like a cutoff date of where I can now dive back into the other stuff. And then we can begin to make a shift towards the group content of all the songs and the albums that I've missed out so far on. That said, though, let's check this small piece of content out, see what we got. Thank you guys very much for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, sub like and subscribe. And the Patreon is in the description. And let's get into this. The 3D rendering on this is ridiculous. keep it completely 100 i didn't even catch the bts thing but it is bts too that's crazy so drug dealer v he has an associate it's this man this man's name is now tony because he is for sure the distributor for drug dealer v look at that fucking vest those glasses the frosted tips well those aren't frosted tips i'm gonna say blonde streaks maybe but like overall i don't know exactly what the hell you call that particular what was it an ombre yeah he's got like an ombre color to his fucking shit or the way that it, it, it flows between the things but he's for sure out there playing back a rat with fucking drug delivery that's who this man is right now see they know what they're doing with this one this is Master Manipulation 101 right here, folks. I know it's a true statement, but we all love this little nigga right here. This little nigga is the last one to give us music. But the thing they use from him, I miss doing shows terribly. Right after they didn't sent my nigga to jail? How do you not buy this if you have the li like if you have the loose capital to buy this? How do you not buy it after reading that shit? Like, oh, I miss doing shows terribly. And I miss you. Here's the money. That's exactly what's happening. That's wow, so good. These niggas are so good. Yeah, this shit on purpose. I know these statements are from a different time, but when they're getting repackaged and compiled next to each other, I'm not sure if I'd be able to adjust myself to touring again. What does he mean? Does that is that after the jail that he's got to get out of? What what period of time is this? I don't know. I'm too fucking new to this shit. Some of you guys know when this quote comes, but oh, that just now it's like, well, is this gonna be the last thing I'm gonna get? Even though we know it's not, but it just it's got that essence of like, oh, well, like, is Sugar gonna even go on tour when they come back? Are they gonna even tour? What's gonna happen? <laughs> These last three are directly pulling at army heartstrings. Each one of these were all sentiments directed for the army. Even though I know I just want to see them all again is probably a quote directed towards the other group members. This is for sure some shit that if your army, you read that shit, I just want to see them niggas too, man. I miss my dog. Three to man them, uh, be on the stage, uh, go get that documentary photo book, The Day We Met. Go If you got the P, buy it. Uh, if not, it's Army. Somebody's going to make sure that you all can fucking see it. So, yeah, it'll be available somewhere. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you could, please hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description. See you on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.